Good evening, Ruskin Jewelers. I hope you're alright. It's time for the 48 hour analysis. Just as two days ago, all of these skins rotated into Rustor, and basically in this video, we're going to look at their progress based on sales and see are they still holding up to being perfectly fine investments, or are there any potential problems you need to be aware of? So sit back, relax. I'm going to start talking. Right, so, of course, with every brand new rust store that we have, when the rotation happens, 24 hours later, I'll go to SMM.ABP, take a screenshot of the sales that I see, and I'll post it on, of course, Twitter. Now, the reason we do this is so we can make comparisons to previous weeks. We can compare the first 24 hours of sales and get a very rough estimate in regards to where these skins potentially might end up at with their total sales. So, with this first 24 hours of sales, you can see Blind Drug was the top seller, and then Neon Vibes double sheet metal door. Now, the skin I was most confident in was this but it's not even the top selling skin well no worries that actually could be a potential interesting and helpful thing for it to be a nice investment we'll talk a lot more about that in a second but if i were to make a quick comparison to previous weeks so the previous week the top seller was the mk ultra that did about 9,000 subscribers after the first 24 hours of sales followed by the likes of the rainbow pony jacket 6,500 subscribers we know where these ended up at so we can make comparisons, but more specifically, with the likes of that, we can make a comparison to this, because we had that Shadowborn Sheepman of Double Door being accepted just two weeks before, didn't we? And for the first 24 hours of sales, that had about 2,500 more subscribers compared to the likes of that. So, hmm, I wonder what it looks like after 48 hours of sales. Well, let's just go ahead and take a look right now. So here we are, this is what it looks like currently. Now, we'll point out, it has been like an hour since 48 hours, but it probably doesn't bother you too much. At the end of the day, the difference in sales isn't going to be that much. But right now, as you can see, we've got the likes of the Blind Drug currently sitting here with 11,500 subscribers. The sheet, uh, Neon Sheet Metal Double Door right here, Neon Vibes, just about just under 11,000 subscribers. And remember, subscribers is all based on the absolute bare minimum sales. This refers to at least 10,959 individual people have bought this skin. How many did they buy each? We don't know. But we know, at the very least, we have 10,959 people that have bought it. So that's the 100% correct thing that we can follow. That's what we're going to like focus around. Right then, so across the board, sales, not exactly super crazy, which eh, it's fine. That's not really that much of a problem. For investing, that's good. For the skin creators, eh. <laughs> all right then, so we're going to go ahead now. We're going to go through all these skins in order of what we see them in us. And then we're going to go and talk about whether they're going to still hop to be perfectly fine investments. And of course, will what will they probably end up at with a good estimate in regards to their total quantity by Thursday. So let's start off with likes the blind rug. All right, so just to get this point across this is the third marketable rug skin to be accepted so far this year and total we've had five with two of them being given away as twitch drops early this year back in january last year we had one two three four seven marketable rug skins now as of may 2023 we were up to just two all right that's fine we have three so far not going to be complaining that much at least they're all very different you know that's like a that's a lunar new year decoration that's a artwork piece that's it's beautiful <laughs> and this this right here very cool role player design for the likes of you know putting it over your windows that looks cool like mcquery taking these pictures really sold it for a lot of people this got a ton of support and of course it ended up getting accepted so as you can see you can quite literally put it over your windows and you know it looks pretty cool looks pretty nice the transparency obviously helps it out a lot mcquery did a splendid job of it people wanted it and now they have it but we have to question this will that forever be interesting to people will that forever have the interest and the demand to keep the price up it's only selling at $1.49 which definitely would give it a bit of you know it's definitely going to help it out a lot more with it being so cheap but like it hasn't also it hasn't really sold ridiculously like if i could just quickly refer back to the uh, rug skins that we've had so far this year even uh respawn allegory fresco sold for $1.49 that did just about almost 25,000 subscribers and yet right now comfortably above its rustor price when we look at the likes of the Dragon Fan Rug, that sold for $2.49. It's currently sitting there at $1.58. So, at the very least, I think this actually might be working out quite alright. It's an abnormal skin with its standard normal deplorable price. I'm looking at this currently, seeing its current progress, and I'm thinking that's going to probably reach up to around, hmm... Judging by what I see, I think it's going to be just shy of 20,000 subscribers. I might be wrong, but I can't really see it going that much higher. We'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. But with what I see here, I also have to take into consideration on the horizon, potentially as early as, well, this coming week, we're going to be seeing a lot more Twitch drops. And then on the horizon again, we've got Spanish 
Spanish Twitch drops, yeah. So we're going to have some sort of special uh, Rust Kingdoms event going on as of next sun uh, Saturday. Yep, next Saturday. So that's in seven days' time, which would mean surely over the course of these next few days, we're going to see all the Twitch drops that are going to be available for it. I'm expecting it's going to be Twitch drops, considering that three notable big streamers that have taken part in the event got, you know, some Twitch skins produced for them. Um, some <clears throat> rust skins, I should say. Well, you get the idea. You know what I'm talking about. Twitch drops. So, uh, what happens if we get another rug? Because earlier this year, we got two rug skins, didn't we? And last year, we, of course, got another actual proper streamer rust skin. Uh, Twitch drop. <laughs> I'm a bit all over the place. Sorry about that. But, yeah. So, this is definitely a big concern now. And I probably will, I probably will be making a video going over this. Because I did last year. I talked about how um, you've got to be a little bit worried in regards to... Uh, if we suddenly see a ton of sheet metal double doors, for example, as Twitch drops, it's going to make all the ones that we got this year a little bit less special and a problem for them because it's going to affect their prices and whatnot. The main point is, are we going to see that with the likes of rugs? Maybe. I don't know because I haven't seen any rug skins just yet. So be a little bit cautious. However, at the end of the day, it's abnormal. Don't need to rush into buying it. Wait till Wednesday, see what the sales look like. And of course, we'll be discussing it on my stream. Look in the description of this video. You'll see the links to all my socials. On Wednesdays, I stream. I talk about what prices we might want to offer for the abnormal skins. And of course, abnormal skins always appear at a set time. We'll engage it, put our barters down, look at the support afterwards, and question if we want to buy it afterwards. So yeah, and if you're still confused by that, by all means, please consider watching my most recent Abnormal Bioda stream uh, video right there. We go over all the details, we go through the process and figure out what prices we want to offer for them. We do the Bioda's, we look at it afterwards, and we come up with the decision that some of the skins actually do look like perfectly fine to jump in and buy some of them. In the end, I bought 30 Redemption kilts and I bought 20 jackets. 20 Rainbow Pony jackets, that's it. So, yeah, it's worth a watch, and it'll help you understand how to approach things a lot more safer ensuring that you don't always potentially lose your money very easily by just doing instant purchases. So, you get the idea, right? Blind Shrug, I want to see how it looks, but I'm also cautious about the fact that, at the moment, we're now kind of in the summer. There's nothing wrong with that, but you've got to understand, we've probably got a, maybe a good two and a half, we've got like maybe a good two and a half months, and then we start approaching the autumn full seasonal dip, and then prices start to go down, all right? So when you look at that blind drug, you really have to question, is that going to rise up in price over the course of these next two or so months to a point where you can sell it for a nice bit of profit and then everything works out all right because you sell it? Or does it not really change that much? And when we go through the likes of September, October, November, it goes down bad. Because last year, the autumn full seasonal dip was absolutely atrocious for all skins. So many skins dropped down in price very, very badly. So that's for something we'll consider again when we approach these skins on Wednesday night. As of now, my expectation is, Blind Shrug, you're going to probably reach around 20,000 subscribers, but I feel like you're going to be just short of that, and I think it's probably best we probably stick with just a bar order. Hey, we'll see how it turns out, but if you like it, by all means, buy it, use it, enjoy it, support the skin creator, keep them motivated, keep wanting to put out very nice creator designs in the future. Sounds good? Let's move on to the next skin. All right, Neon Vibes Double Sheet Metal Door. Okay, so... There's a very good thing I can do right now. I can quickly go back to the past. You might wonder, why, why, why were you looking at all these videos earlier, Hedge? Because I wanted to find this. It's very annoying if the, the top comment is, Hedge, where's your hair? I hate people so much. Anyway, let's go over to here, and let's just skip ahead to the first 24 hours of sales. Uh, 20, 48 hours of sales, my apologies. You know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make a comparison. Right, so, I could see right here, if I just make a HD... That when we look at that Shadowborn sheet metal double door, all right, we can see that that right there, after two days, had 13,426 subscribers. And of course, I was going through the whole routine again of like comparing this to that and questioning what might happen in the future. Worried that potentially we'll have another sheet metal double door skin being accepted on the horizon. Lo and behold, that's exactly what happened. Oh dear. But we are not selling as much as the Shadowborn which is fine, that's not a problem. As an investment, that helps that out a lot better. Shadowborn Sheet Metal Double Door, how many sales did you end up at? Or more specifically, subscribers. You ended up at 21,522 subscribers. Now, don't be surprised if some people probably bought an extra 10, or 50, or 100, all right? I was one of them that bought 50. <laughs> Things look perfectly fine, it had a lot of support, and the Shadowborn collection is doing perfectly okay. 
sheet metal doors start to go down and price a bit. <sighs> Damn it. But anyway, it's all good. Don't worry. No need to worry about that. With the likes of what we have going on here, yeah, unfortunately, we did get another sheet metal double door being accepted. Now, I don't want to sound mean, as a, in terms of, you know, the financial perspective, oh no, we got another skin accepted. For you, dears, props to you. It's a very nice, colourful looking skin. Let's just give it a quick good look. Much like all the other Neon Vibe skins, they stand out ever so nicely, and it looks just very appealing. Now, I wouldn't be surprised on the horizon that we end up seeing some new skins being produced with this being accepted. Someone quite literally asked, any chance of a version 2 in the boxes? Now you might be sitting there and saying, boxes? What's that about? Well, if you can recall, a good six months ago, I'm not joking, it's quite, f uh, quite far back, we saw the likes of these very cool looking storage boxes being uh, submitted. Sorry, I said that a bit weirdly, but yeah. Basically, the large box of all the weapons on all the sides stands out very nice and colourful. Then, of course, we have the very cool looking small box, what with the likes of the bow, the fire, the savage sword and the torch. Very cute. And get a good look at that. That looks pretty, pretty nice, doesn't it? So, looking at that, I can't help but I can't help but assume a lot of people would want something like that in their base. You probably don't. That's fine. But question the overall consensus, I guess you could say. What would the average person think of when they saw that image? They probably want it. Now, I also had to bring up with this being accepted. We've seen the likes of all of these skins, spike and demand, spike and price. You, yes, this right here was kind of sitting at around between three to three and a half dollars. Lo and behold, now it's up to five. That's cool. This right here, the sheet metal door, that was sitting at around $2. Now it's pushing up to $3. And that armor door right there, why well, that was sitting at around like $1.60. Now it's sitting there at $2.45. The collection grows, the interest you know grows stronger, and the prices have improved. If we see even more of these potentially being accepted, all the better for the whole collection. Much like the Shadowborn collection, it gets stronger, prices are, you know, are a lot better, and hey, you potentially might want to sell some of them. Like I own like like oh, maybe about sixty of these now, and I'm still unsure if I want to sell just yet. It's very <laughs> conflicting, but I can't help but assume we're going to peak with our Ruskin prices around June or July time. So I'm being very very calm at this moment. Um, anyway. That sheet metal double door, more specifically, we have to question, and much like what I said in regards to the blind drug, on the horizon, we know we have some Twitch drops potentially as of early as next week, all right? There's the Rust Kingdoms event taking place, and I've mentioned this in another previous video. It's expected that we're going to have another Spanish event, Bellum 2. Do you remember last year? So if I could just quickly show you this real quickly. Uh, over to here, all I've got to type in is Bellum, and you'll see the two generic drops that we had. Because having spoken to some of my Spanish viewers, apparently uh, the people organizing the event have quite, uh, quite spoken out loud that what they're intending to have as Twitch drops, aka generic drops. So if I just quickly type this in... If you can recall, for the Bellum event, we had the sheet metal door and the small box. Cool. So, Hedge, why are we talking about this? What's up? Well, apparently, uh, they want to do, with what they did with this uh, Bellum sheet metal door, they want to turn it into a double door, as in another sheet metal double door, as in a Twitch drop. So, that's going to be given away for free. And then, of course, with the likes of the small box, it, it, it doesn't affect the sheet metal double doors, but I just want to point out that with the, what they have here, the transparent box, apparently they want to turn it into a large box. That would look cool. That would look cool. So, anyway, with what we have going on here, if that does become a thing, yes, that's going to become a problem. And again, I don't even know all the drops for the likes of the uh, upcoming uh, Rust Kingdom situation. So, it, I don't even fully know if there's definitely going to be Twitch drops, but I w it wouldn't surprise me. All right, so, that, 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 that. And, of course, these, 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 these. We have to question what's likely going to happen from here on now. So, first things first, I did bring this up when, it, when this first appeared. We saw the likes of the Shadowborn Sheet Middle Double Door go down in price a fair bit. That was, a, that was more of a reaction. People got a little bit scared. They quickly sold their Shadowborn Sheet Middle Double Doors. Since then, it has gone up, up in price a little bit more. Cool. With the likes of the Long Double Door, same thing. It's gone up in price a little bit more. I still think all of these skins will peak at some point in June or July. If you happen to have some, I would recommend you, you, know, you consider selling them. Whilst we see all sheet metal double doors right now, currently in the positive, that ain't going to last forever. It certainly isn't. At some point, when we reach around the likes of uh, September, October, November time, they are going to go down in price. It's, it's inevitable. It's unfortunate, but it's a routine thing that happens every single year. So enjoy the summer whilst you can, but put the effort in to make some sales. <laughs> so with the likes of this, I think that's only going to end up reaching around 15 to 18,000 subscribers. That is not exactly the top selling sheet metal double door skin of this year, but it also means that, the, you know, if people do appreciate it, 
and on the horizon we do see those potential uh, uh, small box and large box being resubmitted and potentially accepted in the future and the you know the collection grows even bigger well that neon vibe sheet with a double door probably will comfortably rise up in price a fair bit maybe much like how the graffiti love double door just ends up doubling price same with the likes of the neon love sheet with a double door you know they just kind of existed people saw them for a bit and then they forgot about them and they've just been rising up in price very stealthily in the background they don't even have that many listings on the steam market 32 and 50 whereas this has 127 and this has 162 and we talked about this one here the space airlock double door the first marketable skin for this year out of all the double doors and that right there that's got 73 and it's you know one dollar above hey if that ended up only going up to about four dollars would that be good enough for you because remember, with tax, you're going to only get like 60 cents profit. That's something you really have to question. This costs $3 a piece. If that only were to go up to about $4 at one point, well, you're only going to be making 60 cents per $3 you put in. Is that worth it to you? If that doesn't sound very appealing now, well, there you go. Maybe you just want to stick with doing a buy order. So, of course, that's also abnormal. On Wednesday night, we'll discuss prices and whatnot. We'll look at the sales and we'll consider what potentially might be happening. Because, of course, like I said, I can't help but assume Diaz is going to probably start submitting some more neon... Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, well, um, someone else appeared, but um, I actually didn't know that was there. Anyway... <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> Summer's looking pretty good now, isn't it? All right, so with the likes of that, hey, keep an eye on the workshop, see what happens, and, you know, if we do see the signs of another Neon Vibes uh, deplorable skin being produced, you're probably going to feel a little bit more optimistic for it. So we'll see how things turn out. I'm so... <laughs> I was genuinely surprised by that. <laughs> okay, so we'll see how that turns out. There's no need to rush. By all means, if you want to buy it for yourself, buy it, appreciate it, support that skin creator. Shall we move on to the next skin? Let's go do that right now. Vol Volcanic Rock. So, personally, I do question this a fair bit. When it comes to weapons and tools, if they glow in the dark, by default, most people would say, no, nope, don't want to be seen at night time, don't want it. But looking at the state of most of these rocks, especially the glow-in-the-dark rocks, of course, they don't actually look like they're performing that badly. And the straightforward answer is it's 50-50. Some of them do end up going up in price quite nicely. Some of them kind of go down, they kind of go down pretty bad. But quite a lot of them came out quite a long time back in the past. Um, so here we go. The most recent one is the Blackberry Rock. Okay, now apparently it's, it's down by 26%. When I last looked at it, it was only down by like 5%. Something weird's going on there. Why don't I go take a look? All right then. So how many of these are listed on the Steam market? Well, based on what we can see here, there is apparently only 37. And as I look at it properly, all right, it's very thin. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. You get about ten listings below the rust store price. Out of thirty-seven, so a third of listings. But that's like hardly anything. Hmm. What about if we look at the likes of the Rock from Hell? So I've got to bring this up as well. Rock from Hell had a very, very, very weird thing going on with it. There was a Russian account that kept buying these out in abundance, like a hundred plus quantities. And then he did it again at like another time, and then since then he hasn't done it again. And if you think, no, Hedge, you're lying. No, no, it did happen. You can see it right there. So it was like sitting here at one point, like at $1.30, and then suddenly it boosts all the way up to about 5 $6 at one point. Well, right now it's only sitting there at $2.41. That skin right there sold for $4.49. So that's not exactly doing a very good job retaining its value, is it? No. So based on what we've seen more, more recently not performing very well these glow in the dark rocks but i should also point out last year we did get quite a lot of rock skins didn't we that's something we also had to take into consideration you know do i want to hold volcano rock in my hand or big fat chunky hamster or slobbery ugly pug you know <laughs> i hate that i said that but you get the idea anyway so the more recent glow in the dark rock skins have not been performing very nicely i mean that one's doing pretty okay that one's gone back down in price that one's doing pretty okay but the more 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 recent ones not so much so my overall opinion is i think i'm just going to stick with doing a buy order i think it's not going to be doing a very good job retaining its price it might do it might do and i you know fair enough all right props to it but even based on what i've seen i just don't think it'll last and also i don't think it's gonna be rising up in price that highly uh and that's gonna be a problem because if it doesn't reach a nice high price at some point in the summer we're gonna hit september time autumn fall seasonal dip price go down so yeah 
you have to think really hard with the likes of this. Now that, that's abnormal. We don't need to rush into buying it. But based on what I see there, with the sales it currently has, can't help but assume that's also going to potentially reach up to about 15, 15, 17,000 subscribers. Actually, you know what? We could compare to the previous rocks and, well, you know, just take a quick look at all of these. That did just about 10,000 subscribers. That did 21,700. And then to like to these, 16,500, 15,000, <laughs> That clearly had a lot of support. Yeah, basically, look at how these performed, and then look at that, and then question it even more. I mean, that actually looks like it's on track to match up to likes of that, Rock From Hell. But Rock From Hell is part of the well-established and well-liked Hell collection. That's just all by itself. Yeah, I think I am just going to stick with doing a barter. That is abnormal. So, yeah, by all means, if you like it, buy it for yourself. Support the skin creator. But with a financial perspective, I question it a fair bit too much. And with that, I don't have a lot of confidence in it. Therefore, I probably just stick with Dunbarta. So that's my answer. Shall we move on to the next batch of skins? That being the overheat hoodie and pants. It's time to go to Flavor Town. Right then. So first things first. Are we potentially going to see a continuation? The only way we're going to know about that is if we go to the workshop. Has anyone asked? So as I go to here to the comment section, let's go see. Right. I uh, guess uh, after this one, I overcharged. Okay, there you go. He plans to continue this set. And I guess someone probably asked here as well, but yeah, all right, okay, okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Right, so, you have to really question this, all right? By default, it doesn't matter. If we see continuations, if we see Tier 2 or Tier 3 armor being submitted and potentially accepted in the future, it's going to spike him on, spike in price regardless. Doesn't matter if it doesn't have that, you know, that much interest, it's still going to work out quite all right. Also, real quickly, I don't think we have any, uh, I don't think we have any set that looks like this. You know, I have flames in my shirt, therefore I'm very cool. <laughs> oh yeah, remember the people that used to wear things like that about 15 years ago? They probably still do. Anyway, that. At the end of the day, it's silly, and I know a lot of people would appreciate silly. Um... Come on now. If we can get like bleach blonde, you know, frosted tips, hair, and whatnot, even better, and, and sunglasses. Oh, mate, come on, please. Anyway, role players would love that. With what we have going on here, yeah, I'm pretty sure Mr. Johnny Old Boy will, you know, whip out something very nice to continue this. Um, but based on what we just saw being submitted, like literally just a second ago, <laughs> uh, we'll have to wait and see because. There's some, you know, there's quite a lot of competition at the moment for uh, continuations of core pieces and whatnot. What are core pieces? Hoodie pants, tier two and tier three. So we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. So in regards to that, doesn't matter if we do see continuations and they are accepted. That will be going up in price. And based on how much they're currently selling, I'm looking at both of that and I'm thinking that's going to probably reach up to around ten to twelve thousand subscribers. Not a ton. That isn't that much. You know, in fact, if I quickly go back to the past, when was, um, when did we have Chameleon Hoodie and Pants? Oh, there you go. These only ended up doing about, like, 9,000 subscribers. They're doing perfectly fine, because, you know, it's already part of a well-established set. And on the horizon, we do anticipate the likes of the, uh, Tier 2 armor to be submitted. That, as a whole, is actually looking very good at the moment, so... The only potential problem we would have with the likes of the Overheat Collection is maybe this might potentially sell far too much compared to whatever comes out after it. It's not its fault, because this is the first piece. Just know, you know, we have two instances of, you know, core pieces being accepted after it where it was very likely spike demand, spike in price. So all the better for that. All right. So we just got to look forward to it. Right then. So uh, keep your eyes open. Look at the workshop. See how it turns out. Now, both of these, they're selling for $1.49. They are both abnormal. We can consider doing our abnormal barters on Wednesday night. See how it turns out afterwards. What does the support look like afterwards? And then we'll consider, all right, you know what? That looks fine. We could probably go ahead and buy some. Or maybe we just end up sticking with the builders. Maybe the top builders only go up to maybe a dollar. Maybe that might be a little bit too questionable. So maybe we might want to just kind of take a step back. But based on what I see there, it's goofy. It's silly. I think people would be appreciating it. It's not selling too much. Definitely looks like it very likely could potentially be getting a, con a continuation at some point in the near future. It's going to probably end up with ten to 12,000 subscribers in by the end. I think that's going to be looking to be perfectly fine. But the absolutely safe option is abnormal borders first. I know, I know. I, I say it all the time, but that is the safe way to go about it. So, 
there you go. Right, let's go ahead and talk about the likes of the Tiger Stripes MP5. Now, number one, we've got to point this out, MP5s, they are very weird. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I'm talking more specifically about the skins. Now, of course, quite a long time back, good two years ago, we had some nerfs on the MP5, and it very, very badly affected, um, you know, how its skins perform. Gun demand won't <clears throat> Gun demand went down, and, you know, if people don't even use the weapon that much, where's the justification to own skins? Therefore, skin prices go down. But recently, we have been seeing quite a fair few of these start to rise up in price ever so nicely. There have been changes somewhat recently to the MP5. Things to help it out, improve it a little bit more. And yet, still, when you look at most of these skins, it's not like it's doing super great at the moment. Doing better but still not one of the best investments. So it's still very questionable. Yes, out of all these skins we've had accepted so far this year, only one of them's in the positive. You're down by 21%. That has the pay to win aim site, and yet it's down by 21%. Just goes to show, I mean, I guess that's not so special, is it? More specifically, the aim site. Um, yeah, that's a holiday theme, so we can probably push that aside. I don't think people appreciate junk or not. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So this Tiger Stripes MP5, let's get a much better closer look at it. I can't help but assume this potentially was accepted based on the fact that in the commits recently, there's a there's mentions of a tiger being added to Rust. It's been mentioned quite a lot. If we do eventually get that tiger added, I'm pretty sure Shino and Mr. Frog might want to keep continuing putting out these uh, Tiger Stripe skins because um, I think they've got a good thing going on and Face Punch clearly likes it because they probably want to have a bunch of these out by the time the, tig the Tiger's introduced. Now, what's the Tiger going to be for? Don't know. No clear answer. Maybe we're going to have a carnival uh, monument being added. <laughs> a travelling circus in Rust. It's where you belong. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just a new wild animal to deal with. Maybe we're getting a jungle biome. There's, there's no confirmation of that. That's just like a wild guess. Maybe it's a volcano. Maybe it's the. Maybe it's an underworld. You know, like a hollow earth or something like that. That would be really weird, but that might work. Maybe, maybe. So anyway, with what we have going on here, more specifically this MP MP5, I have to be very, very cautious. All right. Number one, first of all, nice aim sight. That's totally fine. Color scheme. I mean, yellow stripe. You know, tiger, yellow, orangey, yellow. I guess I should point out. Anyway, look at that. I am still debating things. I don't think it's just going to instantly do a okay, but it's not exactly selling that much as of now. Only five thousand five hundred subscribers. That's going to probably only reach about ten thousand subscribers. I think that potentially might have a pretty fun time in the future when the tiger's added. All right, if the tiger's added. So uh, that's not really something strong to rely upon. I know, I know. So at the end of the day, look, if you like it, by all means, buy it. Support the skin creators. Keep them motivated. Keep one put out more tiger skins. Yeah. Maybe we need like a tiger mask or something. No, we already have one. Maybe we need like tiger face paint. Yeah. No, um, we'll see. We'll see what they do next. But it's a potential brand new collection and they do intend to produce even more skins. If I recall, I believe they said they wanted to make an LR300 next. So, of course, keep an eye on the workshop. Right then. So, at the very least, keep an eye on it. It's not abnormal, though. You will not be able to buy order that uh, Wednesday night going into Thursday morning. You will only be able to uh, buy it from the Steam market when a rust store has rotated so if you want to buy it from the rust store you have to question this on wednesday night look at the sales make a consideration for the future but i just can't help but assume it's probably going to go below its rust store price it leans more towards that so i think i will be just sticking with a smart buy order we'll see how it turns out by then so for that let's move on blackguard tier three all right so again by default this is the very first piece core piece for a potential brand new clothing and armor collection we've only got tier three right here what else could come out though you know we could get hoodie and pants, tier two, boots and gloves as well, maybe a jacket, you never know. So, that's looking interesting, that's looking pretty cool, and so, I have to sit here and question, what are we going to consider next? Because these aren't selling that much. We have, we, we're less than 5,000 subscribers after two days. I'm looking at that and I'm thinking we're probably only going to reach up to about 8,000 to 10,000 subscribers. Now... As you can see, it's slightly darker in pigment. It does have the coloration to the sides, but we haven't seen the rest of the set. Maybe it might potentially be a nice budget blackout set. I hate the fact that I said that. We already have Legacy Kevlar, and that's super cheap. <laughs> but anyway, based on what we see, doesn't matter. It might not have an, a lot of interest initially, but if we do see the likes of Tier 2 or Hoodie and Pants being submitted and accepted in the future, of course that's going to spike demand, spike in price. The only thing that we can do, again, is just look at the workshop, Read the comments and see, is there any confirmation that they're going to continue it? <sighs> Why are they doing... <sighs> whatever. 
<laughs> I need a confirmation you're going to continue it. Look, I'm pretty sure they're going to continue it. This is Coffee Outlaw's first skin to be accepted. Of course they're going to continue it. This, like, again, just to understand this, when you get the likes of some clothing and armor accepted, you're more likely to get, you know, continuations accepted. So, of course, the smart idea is to continue it. It's common sense. We'll be seeing more of this being submitted at some point in the future. And the only way to tell, keep it on a workshop. Need I say any more? Right then, so... With the likes of these two, it's both abnormal. Two dollars. And the fact that they're selling at two dollars each probably has affected the amount of them being bought, but that also looks like there's a lot less people buying these in excess, aka a lot less people who bought these with the pure intent to sell, aka a lot less of these will probably be listed on the Steam market at some point in the future, therefore it, had a mu it would most likely have a much better time rising up in price, if we do see continuations. So, for that, it doesn't look like it's selling that much, all the better for it as an investment, but we do need to see if we like see signs of continuations and Based on what we've just seen being submitted, we do have to question the potential competition, all right? So, yes, 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 yes. All right, then. So that, I'm going to look at it Wednesday, make a decision, look at the abnormal bar to support afterwards, consider what's been submitted um, from the likes of the uh, Coffee Outlaw, and, uh, yeah, we'll question what happens next, all right? So, all right, keeping on the workshop. Snake bite saw. Right, there's a funny thing that happened here, and I have to bring this up to you. There's two snake bite saws. Here you go. Uh, found out uh, this. Yeah, something's gone wrong. What's going on, Hedge? Right, so um, we already have a snake bite saw. And that came out like six years ago. And because of that, we now have a new version. So if you had a barger in the original snake bite saw, they've actually changed the name of it. Technically speaking, there's a new instance of this on the Steam market now. So they have obviously found out, oh no. We've already just accepted a brand new snake bites are, and this already exists. Now, typically, normally, normally, they change the name of the skin that was accepted, and that's in the Rust store. But no, in this instance, they decided, nope, we're going to change the uh, name of the original snake bites are to green snake bites are, and now, <laughs> now, um, the snake bites are is still going to be called snake bites are. So that is a bit weird, and yes, that means brand new builders you could put down and potentially. Um, no, try and get these for cheaper. Yeah, it's, it's funny, isn't it? That's happened many times in the past, so it probably will most likely happen again in the future. Anyway, with the likes of this, what's its future? What can we accept from it, potentially? Well, number one, this is a continuation in a collection. Number two, hith, hith, I hate myself, sorry. But yeah, he, he hisses at you while she shoot. Cool looking design. Sunart does a lovely piece of work every now and then. And as you can see, the slow progress and how they built it all up. So, yeah, I think some people will be appreciating this. But it's not selling that much. And that's a bit of a problem. And I do have to talk about SAR skins. They don't tend to be very good investments. What do you mean? Well, I'll show it off in a second. But there you go. Very cool looking design. Don't be surprised if we see more continuations of Snakebite, all right? There'll be an AK-47 next week. Oh, there you go. That was quick. Just read the comments. Right then, back over to here. Sar skins. Hedge, why are you so pessimistic about Sar skins? That. 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 Do you see the problem? They are mostly in the negative. Now, the one positive in terms of investing with the likes of this is that it's just not selling that much. Uh, pure green, sir. Looks quite nice. Well, you know, so at the moment, so I've got like 4,600 uh, subscribers. Probably will do between eight to 10,000 subscribers by Thursday. Um, I mean, yeah, no, it could work out quite all right. But again, look at all these songs that come out this year. Only one's in the positive. And I do question another thing. The SKS very likely will be introduced as its own individual weapon for the June Force Wipe. With the amount of changes and uh, updates we've been seeing in the commits, which again, if you just go to Google, if you type in face punch commits, if you click rust reboot, so it's only showing the rust commits. If I were to just quickly click this, change that to SKS, I will show to you that they have been working on the SKS for quite a considerable amount of time. Lots of unique changes, definitely pointing towards it's going to be its own weapon. Which, again, not surprising based on the fact that it was supposed to be introduced in the Mayfor Swipe as a special skin for the SAR, but far too many were people like, look at all the effort you put into this. Why not just make it its own weapon? And, well, Face Punch was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, basically, potentially, the semi-automatic rifle will probably have competition. 
there's another semi-automatic rifle being introduced to the game called the SKS. I can't help but assume uh, we might end up seeing this, the uh, SAR, the semi-automatic rifle, potentially get nerfed and the SKS takes its place. Now, will you even be able to build the SKS? Well, there you go. And, well, if the SAR gets nerfed, what happens? Gundaman goes down. And what happens? Well, that means... Where's the justification to own skins? Skin prices go down. Much like how I talked about the MP5 a little bit earlier. That very likely could happen. Because why would they have both the SAR and the SKS? Uh, SKS? Now, the SKS might be a better SAR, but we already have the MP9. Oh, okay, there you go. Now you understand. Much like how we have the, um, the revolver, the SAP... And, of course, the Python. I can't help but assume the SAR might be nerfed a fair bit, replaced by the SKS, and it goes SAR, SKS, and M39. This is something I've been questioning for quite a considerable amount of time, ever since we found out the SKS got removed from being just a skin. And, yeah, it could have a bit of a butterfly effect, because that could definitely lead to SAP skins increasing in price by quite a fair bit, because people would much rather use their semi-auto uh, semi bodies on SAPs rather than SARS then, if that were to happen. It's all a guessing game, a hypothesis, and we won't get the answer until June Force Swipe, or later, if they don't introduce the SKS by then. Anyway, looking at the state of all of these, yeah, uh, I'm not 100% behind it, but if it sells hardly anything, all the better for it to rise up in price. And of course, if we do see more of this snakebite collection, well, it's not exactly doing super great, but hey, there's an AK on the way. Would that help everything? Probably not. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I think if we keep seeing consistent skins being produced and accepted, I think it would work out right. Potentially. Maybe. Um, but as of now, not fully behind it, not fully confident, might just stick with the Barda, and unfortunately, it's not abnormal, so we had to question it Wednesday night. Right then, so shall we move on to the final skin? We have the Junkernaut Bar, and well, I did bring this up, Bolt Action Rifles, they used to be quite rare. For two years, we had zero Bolt Action Rifle skins being accepted, and then of course, Redemption and Communion Bar appeared. Right, well, sorry. <sighs> sorry about that. <coughs> so, uh, now we've got this. And I did bring this up earlier. I mentioned one of the Junkernaut weapons. Uh, they're not exactly uh, very in demand. Hmm. Right. It's not a very appealing design for everybody. I will acknowledge that. In its current position... Oh, and the SAR should also point out they're both like near, nearly the exact same thing. They both kind of look like they're going to probably end up with about 8,000 to 10,000 subscribers. I think that's still going to fall short of that, maybe at least 7,000. But we don't really see that many bolt action rifles being accepted, much like with L96s. But L96s just never really got anywhere, unfortunately. They are not very good investments. And that right there as well, when you look at all the bolt action rifles, it's a bit different. Like I said, we had two years we had zero, zero bolt action rifle skins, and all the older ones just rose up in price ever so nicely. But now we do get more. And now that we get more, the more recent ones that came out have gone down pretty bad. But this, this, this. If people aren't appreciating all the other Junkernaut skins, what's likely going to happen the likes of that? Well, it probably might not be that bad. How can you say that, Hedge? You've only talked, like, negative things about it. Because when you look at all the bolt action rifle skins that exist, when you look at them by cheapest price, you might notice... Okay, now we've got two of them below uh, this, but yeah, we don't really have them that many of them below a dollar. Uh, <clears throat> we don't have many of them below two dollars. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, please understand this, right? There are 32 of these that exist. Quite a considerable amount of them are Twitch drops. But, when you take away those two, there's 30. Only two out of 30 are below two dollars. And technically speaking, by default, that is under two dollars. It's one dollar ninety nine sharp hedge. But you get the idea. I think we're not going to be seeing that go down to a dollar. I think that very likely might end up at around $1.50. Also, please take into consideration, with the amount of sales it has, it's like hardly anything. You're going to see hardly any listings. So that very likely actually might be a pretty good buy order to put down. But in terms of, if I buy it, will it turn into a profit? I mean, maybe. It's not selling that much. Could be manipulated in the future, for example. But um, looking at it more specifically, I don't think, like, like by default, clearly it's got, like, no interest. So it's not selling that much. But a sheer lack of quantity, a sheer lack of listings would actually lead to it going up in price eventually at some point in the future. Even if it only sells, like, one every two days. There's only so many of them in circulation. It would go up in price. But is that something you really want to rely upon? Probably not. So... It's questionable. Probably not going to have that much interest. 
but it very likely slowly might rise up in price but do you really want to wait that long well there you go so it sounds interesting but it also sounds very slow <laughs> so yeah um that might not be selling that much but it doesn't look like it's going to have enough interest to really keep the momentum for good sales and good potential profits hey Regardless, if you want a new Bolt Action Rifle skin, the option's there. Please consider buying it. Support the skin creator. See what they produce next. Help them out. Get, you know, get them nice and creative with cool designs to the future. But um, I do question that. But I don't think it'll be going down in price that much. So it's a bit weird. I know. It is a bit weird. But I don't think we'll be seeing another Bolt Action Rifle skin being accepted for a reasonable amount of time. Again, skin creators don't really uh, make them that much either. So shrug right so that was all the skins yeah that was all the skins not that much to really say in you know some cases and whatnot some things did have a lot more talking but yeah we got the likes of new twitch drops potential in the horizon and whatnot now if you want to stay up to date with the likes of twitch drops keep an eye on the items here you know go to smm go to items and just look at this every other day over the course of the next seven days the twitch drops or what will be twitch drops will be acknowledged and noticed and be able to be seen here all right that's happened many times in the past. Um, if I could go back to, what, like January time, when we had the likes of the Trust and Rust Twitch drops. Trust in Rust, I hope I said that correctly. Um, do we see them? There you go. Yeah, 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 they're all there. They're all there. So you could go, like, look at their workshops and whatnot. I um, I didn't mean to click that, but I, hey, there you go. It has its own special SCMM page. You can see all the other skins from this group. What I wanted to do is I wanted to click the workshop page. So when it loads up, I can click this and I can go see it in the workshop, for example. That's cool. Glows in the dark. You get the idea. So you might actually see some Twitch drops being submitted over the course of the next few days. Maybe. We shall see. But as of now, I haven't noticed anything, so yeah. Also, you can also take a look at the likes of micro522.com. This is another way in which you can be up to date with all the new skins. Just click date submitted. Look at this every now and then. You can hover over all the links to get a quick preview of all the skins. You get the idea. And of course, flashbacks. Of course, flashbacks is getting a lot of support already. <laughs> People really want it. They want to have nice, cheap alternatives for forest raiders, all right? So if that gets accepted, those hurting and pets, ooh, you know what? We should take a real quick look. Flashbacks. Because I had quite a talk about this last week, didn't I? Talked about how one individual just keeps unloading their stock of hoodies constantly well he's going to be a real big idiot if we see that tier 3 armor being accepted oh yes he will so right now this is sitting here at about $1.25 it oh just about yep and yeah all that big fat quantity rest assured if that tier 3 armor gets accepted all of that's just going to get bought out and that bile batch right there will go whoop because yeah as i said with forest raiders the price of it all together right now it must cost about 300 dollars. we're getting there it's rising up in price at the moment uh forest raiders like is the kilt 60 dollars now let's just go ahead and find out kilt is almost 60 dollars oh wow the tier 2 vest there is also 51 dollars yeah it's almost 300 almost 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 oh so think of it like this for the price of the Flashbacks hoodie and pants, which would probably cost you at best maybe about $3, that if you bought that, instead of buying the likes of Forest Raiders hoodie and pants, you'd save about $45 there. So, yeah, now you understand the very useful uh, 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 potential in seeing that Tier 3 armor potentially being accepted. Yeah, if we get all the Flashbacks out, people will be able to afford a very nice-looking green camouflage armor. If it were to be finished uh they didn't accept the original tier three and tier two armor for some strange reason maybe they wanted to wait until the summer more people playing in the summer would equal you know a lot more potential purchases a lot more potential profit you know makes sense wouldn't it i i hope we'll see we'll see so anyway that's something to look forward to on the horizon so as i said if i quickly go back over to the likes of uh this batch of videos here this video here goes over the situation in regards to twitch drops so we have this tweet here from abe i've gone over this several times already but something's cooking and it very likely will be twitch drops because as you can see here s fans talked about taking part and if i could just quickly go back over to here in the description i have all three twitch drops that i found out about like three weeks ago and basically if you look at this mp lol garage door you can see certain names being mentioned player one mp lol player two s fan i'm under the assumption that there's going to be groups of people and much like what we've seen in the past with twitch rifles there'll be like a captain and a co-captain and they'll both drop the main twitch drop 
and then everybody else in the team will drop like the secondary twitch drop so in total potentially there's gonna be maybe like 12 to 15 twitch drops so there'll be a batch of generic drops and then each team will probably have their own two twitch drops to drop so yeah you've got to watch certain streams for two hours you'll get the skins and then yeah and of course this is iron mouse with the hoodie the vtuber uh, design is right there and if we quickly go back over to the tweet there they are in the background over there so it's all but confirmed basically and then over to there we've got the QT Cinderella AK-47 that's going to be given away for free so yeah I mean it looks nice it looks pretty it looks cool and uh, can't help but assume that probably will be affecting the likes of uh, the prices of all the other AKs that exist that came out this year so yeah um, free stuff and unfortunately free stuff leads to people not being very interested in the other skins that come out around that time and, and, and after and yeah you get the idea I'm sure you understand so Yep, that whole session was a bit of a yep. Please consider watching my Neon Dragon Garage Door Progress follow-up video. That is a weird situation. It's so random that over the course of like two to three weeks, the Neon Dragon Garage Door just magically goes up to $300. And it's not even selling that much, and yet it still rose up to that point. People are actually thinking that's going to be reaching $500 this summer. I know, it's not even the rarest garage door, but it's happening, so... Just pulling it out. <laughs> right, so if we do find out about more Twitch drops, I very likely will be doing a video discussing the Twitch drops and how they'll likely affect all the skins that have come out this year and potentially might be coming out afterwards. Like I said, if we see some double doors or some rugs, oof, that is going to be a problem. That will be a problem. So we've got to be concerned about all the skins that have come out somewhat recently. I mean, mainly all the skins that came out this year, more specifically. Because while some of them are rising up in price ever so nicely, will it last? I don't know. We're going to wait and see what happens. We're going to wait and see what's potentially dropping. I know it's a bit of a ramble. I'm sorry, but I'm sure you can understand my concerns. It's happened before. Right, it's happened before and it likely potentially lead to more potential problems oh we love problems don't we we love having to worry about many other things potentially on the horizon hooray well that's Ruskin investing it's very routine but a lot of these problems do reappear every now and then and you know if you're prepared for it you know how to uh, you know act upon it sounds good cool so uh, uh my name is hedge uh you listen to this whole video because you're a madman like me you too will lose all of your hair like me <laughs> but yeah so stay optimistic keep an eye on the workshop you never know what might potentially be appearing and uh yeah yeah we'll see what potentially gets accepted with the next few rust doors june 4 swipe is really looking interesting again just keep an eye on all the commits in the lead up to june 4 swipe which will be june 6th which is technically a good well it's like a good two and a half weeks away to go i mean wow they are oh no it's because you just literally click that specific one yeah if you click the specific one it'll just never stop talking about it although that's all they've been working on today jake what on earth have you been doing man <laughs> lantern fixes blunder buster that's another weapon on the horizon um if you aren't fully well aware uh do you remember I, I, i'm pretty sure it is a blunder bus there you go it quite literally says blunder bus there so that's like um it's gonna be like a, a yoker but stronger a flintlock weapon uh, as you can see yeah, something like that. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's from COD. But yeah, it might be like a big one, big chop, powerful Eoka, which you can actually control. Maybe it'll look like that. Uh, Super Mario? Really? Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's goofy, but I don't think anybody would be upset with it. I need a more powerful Eoka. So I may destroy more doors. Yes. Right. So anyway, goofy stuff on the horizon. We just got to wait and see if it, you know, eventually drops or when it eventually drops. And uh, yeah, cool, cool. Head should really stop now. He should. So sorry about that. Let's finish now. Best of luck with you and your investments. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the lead up to the summer. And I hope it isn't too hot for you. Catch you later. See you. Goodbye.